we need to talk about this in, in, in a wider sense. Shelley Palmer, who always helps us understand what is happening. You wrote an article recently. Uh, tell me the title of your article. It was cybersecurity, an oxymoron. Basically, Richard, this is organized crime against governments, and we are a victim. We're victims of a victimless crime, and I think it's time to stop sensationalizing this and understand that the banks themselves, the companies themselves, are not willing to spend to save right now. They are still spending to spend, and what I mean by that is they are indemnifying us. Your maximum liability is about fifty bucks at a little inconvenience. You cannot protect yourself against this kind of cyber crime, and you're not right. going to be able to. Right, but I would show you my card with the chip and pin from Europe, except somebody out there would be taking a picture of it. Not a problem. That. As so soon as they're ready to spend for chip and pin, and what that means for people who are listening, is that they put a chip inside the card, which is an electronic no, identification. No, you need to wait. Most of our viewers. And most of our, our international viewers and no. are international. They're well right. aware And then you add your pin. pin. Right. In America, we don't have it. Why? It, because it costs extra money. Apparently, what it costs is more money than it will save. And as soon as it, it is no longer smart to not have chip and pin, American okay. companies will not have, will actually have chip and pin. But we don't know. Target's a massive retailer. Yes. Neiman Marcus, a big retailer. Yes, if I look at all the other cases in the last few months. So, let's put that in perspective. This is the first time reported, by the way, not unreported, reported that we have uh, companies stepping up and saying, wow, we've really been breached and we've been breached hard. Understand the, the market forces behind this. You used to have to, if you're the mafia, you're the mob, I don't want to use the word mafia, but you're the mob or organized crime, you used to have to go up to somebody and ha send a little kid with like a gun or a knife and mug them in person. Now, you can... If from another country, bouncing, uh, literally bouncing around the world, you can victimlessly steal millions of credit cards but, but, and but, nobody goes to jail. Right, but, but from the company's point of view, from the reputational damage point of view, I can't see any CEO saying, I'm going to scrimp and save on the cost of data security like, when no, it could that's blow not, up now. By the way, it can blow up bigger, but let's face it, this is a cost-benefit analysis. We have self-insurance, we have insurance that we buy. This is an insured crime. It's not, and by the way, no one is a victim. People are slightly inconvenienced. Let me tell you what you can do as a person and what many people should do. This is a concrete thing you can do. Almost every credit card issuer will issue you two cards under different numbers under the same account. Uh, what you do very simply is when you do things on auto pay, when you take cards out to the store, cards that are going to be put into the hands of others, use one card with one number. When you use your online card, use a different number on the same account. I do this with American Express. I have a green card, which does what it's supposed to do online, and I have the, the gold card that I use on the outside or the platinum card I use on the outside. Those get hacked all the time because I'm handing them all over the world to people who I don't know. They take them away, they bring them back. My little green card is for my online auto pay, so at least I'm not terribly inconvenienced. But even when my card is hacked, American Express says, you're not liable. Sorry, change your number. What's the worst thing that happens to you? You have to change your auto right. pay is over. It's not like you're being hurt. Right. Here's the part that everybody's scared no, of. No, you're wrong. You're no, no. wrong. We are being hurt well, we because are. we... No, come on. You're yeah. being... There's a sophistry in your argument here. There, there is. I'm because being... we are being hurt we because are. we all pay for it we ultimately. All, we all do pay for it ultimately. That, no, you're 100% right. We all do pay for it. The kind of crime that's being confused with this is where someone steals your identity right, and it becomes that's... identity theft. Those are rare, but they are vicious. And they're very different right. because they take all of your identity and those really do cost you. But this is organized crime taking a bunch of credit cards and floating them on the black market. And Richard, it's a bad day at the office. When, it's, doesn't oh. pay, when crime no longer pays, they will no longer do it. Is that a Blackberry in your pocket? Of course it isn't. <laughs> I'm just happy to see you. Good to see you. Many <laughs> thanks, Steve, for joining us. Many thanks, Steve. Right.